proudly we hail at the twilight's last meeting, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red pray. Blessed, great, and gracious God, God of the nations, ruler of the universe, here in our beloved Boca Raton community, we find ourselves on this Memorial Day separated from one another physically, but joined together in our determination to honor and remember those citizens of our great nation who have lost their lives in times of war. Men and women from all walks of life, from different races and faith traditions, nationalities and ethnicities, who made the ultimate sacrifice in the cause of freedom and the hope of a better America and a better world. May we, in our separation from each other today, recognize that these heroes died apart from the people they loved and the places they loved, on battlefields, on the sea, and in the air across the globe. We honor their lives and their memory today. We lift up their families. In these extraordinary days, God, it seems appropriate on this Memorial Day to recognize also our heroes fighting a very different battle. We pray for nurses, doctors, and all hospital workers, for first responders, National Guard troops, and military personnel, for grocery workers, farmers, and all those who play a part in the production and distribution of the food we eat, for all the other essential workers in Boca Raton and beyond, and for teachers and parents who are taking on old roles in new ways for the care and education of the children. Many have lost their lives in this international health crisis, among them both active and retired military personnel. We remember all of them today and pray for their families. Many more have lost jobs and are facing a frightening and uncertain future. We pray for them as well. May we find the courage and commitment and generosity of spirit to conquer this devastating foe. And now, O oh God, as we think once more of lives lost in war across the decades and the centuries, we raise a prayer of hope that the human family, conceived in your image, will live into the time spoken of by ancient prophecy when we will study war no more. Accept this prayer I offer in your great and glorious name. Amen. Good morning. I'm Mayor Scott Singer. On behalf of the City of Boca Raton and my City Council colleagues, thank you for joining in our virtual observance of Memorial Day. While we cannot be together physically today, we can still be united in our remembrance and tribute to the brave who gave their all for defense of our great nation. Today, we honor the memory of the more than one million men and women in our history whose lives were lost serving our nation. The rights and privileges each one of us enjoys as free Americans, and indeed, the security of the world have depended on the devotion of those who volunteer to serve. We can exist today only because of the greatest sacrifice by those who, 
as Lincoln said so well, gave the last full measure of devotion. Memorial Day is not just a holiday of tradition. Sadly, each year we must mourn more brave patriots who have fallen in defense of freedom and liberty. Just as we strive for health and security in these trying times, we strive for peace and the day when nation shall not take up sword against nation, and we no longer see any loss of our military heroes. Until that elusive day, let us strive to be worthy of all given by these heroes through our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. These difficult times remind us that so many in our community and our country are in need. May we draw strength from those who gave the ultimate sacrifice to inspire us to work harder for the betterment of our community. In the spirit of service, may we embody the highest ideals for which they fought and died and work together for a strong, free, and united nation. May God bless the memory of all who have served and not returned, and may God continue to bless the United States of America. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Memorial Day. I am Lieutenant Colonel Retired Bobby Williams, United States Army and a proud native of Boca Raton. Although the coronavirus and pandemic has changed the way we honor and celebrate today, Memorial Day is usually a day of mostly outdoor ceremonies and speeches. However, today, many communities across the country will celebrate by video or live stream utilizing the social distancing guidelines throughout the day we will honor and celebrate our dead of our nation's wars and conflicts during my 25 years of service i witnessed firsthand the loss of america's most precious resource and treasure our nation's sons and daughters during my deployments of operation desert shield desert storm operations enduring freedom and operations Iraqi freedom. I recall their valor and sacrifices. I remember they gave their lives so that others may live and enjoy freedom and liberty. We are reminded through the fallen and dead, through their deeds, the dead has spoken more eloquently for themselves than any of the living could, and so we shall honor them by rededicating ourselves to the cause for which they so willingly gave their last full measure of devotion. Millions of Americans have fought and died on battlefields here and abroad to defend our freedoms and way of life. Today our troops continue to make the ultimate sacrifices and even as we lose troops more Americans step forward to say, I am ready to serve. They follow in the footsteps of generation of fine Americans. So do not just hasten through Memorial Day without acknowledging and celebrating those that have given so much. As well, do not forget our gold star mothers and families. So take the time to remember the good souls whose memories are a blessing to you and your family. Take your children to our memorial parks and monuments when the opportunity presents itself. Establishing memorials is one way the American can repay the debt owed to the people who died serving this country. Now, as a veteran, I just completed a successful fundraising campaign to build the Korean Defense Service Veterans Memorial. We will dedicate the memorial on 13 June 2020 at 9 a.m. at Veterans Memorial Park in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Remember to teach your children and loved ones the values that lend meaning to our lives and to the life of our nation. Above all, take the time to honor our fellow Americans who have given their last full measure of devotion to our country and for the freedoms and liberties we cherish. In closing, never forget, some gave some and some gave all. God bless my beloved city of Boca Raton. God bless the great state of Florida 
and God bless these United States of America. Welcome, I'm Ben McCarthy and I'm addressing you here today for American Legion Post 277 in Boca Raton. Under normal circumstances, my comments would have been delivered as part of the Memorial Day ceremonies, but unfortunately the Corona-19 viral bat pandemic precludes lunch gatherings. Accordingly, we've turned to this electronic means as a venue to deliver our Memorial Day message. Memorial Day is just that, to memorialize, to remember, to honor, our living and our veterans living in debt. Perhaps circumstances will allow public ceremonies this coming Veterans Day, perhaps not. But until then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong, stay positive. And now to my comments. As I do every year, I watch the Memorial Day concert from Washington, D.C. a while back. And as always, I was inspired. I noted early in the program comments that since the American Revolution and through years through today, a million and a half American service members have given their all during the various conflicts that our armed forces and irregular forces have engaged in since the American Revolution. A million and a half dead. I'm a student of history, so I had a vague awareness of this statistics. A million and a half young Americans forfeit the rest of their young lives over our history so that today we all can enjoy the blessings of liberty such as it is to us. Millions of Americans more were wounded, maimed, disabled. It's sobering to realize that I knew someone. Childhood friends who died in Vietnam, high school friends and soldiers who went through basic training with me in 1964, dead in Vietnam. I also know the survivors. My first commanding officer went up the cliffs at Point de Hoc with the Rangers on D-Day in 1944. Another soldier I served with went ashore at Angio in 1943. The fellow I worked with was with General Patton at the Second Battle of Kazarine Pass in Africa, and later went on to land in South France after D-Day and fought on until VE Day in, in Europe, 1945. Another co-worker was a Bastogne during the Battle of the Boat. My old boss was a navigator on a B-17 dispatched to Pearl Harbor a week after the Japanese attack. He later was one on one of the two aircrafts that evacuated General Douglas A. MacArthur and others from the Philippines and flew them down to Australia where he delivered his historic I Shall Return speech. Another executive in the company was on a Navy cruiser, never got off for three straight years. As a year, very young boy, I remember a man in my neighborhood who was at Pearl Harbor when he was attacked on December 7, 1941. He served honorably and like most other veterans, quietly rejoined society. My drill instructor in the Army and none of my neighbors at home were Korean War veterans. So let us take time to pause at this and at every Memorial Day to reflect on just how much we owe to these veterans and to pray that we as a people do not squander the precious gift of freedom that they delivered to us by virtue of their service and sacrifice. Now on a personal level, it's been my distinct honor and pleasure to have served and worked with those veterans. Fortunate for me, I can continue to encounter any number of American veterans, veterans whenever I wish, by simply joining them at my American Legion post when it reopens. Thank you. God bless America. Hi, it's Ted. Throughout our nation's history, our brave service members have given tremendously to the defense of our country, including often giving their lives. On Memorial Day, we pay tribute to the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice to protect us and to defend our values. We are eternally grateful to those who have served and to those who continue to serve in our armed forces. Their courage, determination, and dedication will never be forgotten. We may never be able to fully repay the sacrifices that they made, but as a community and as a nation, it is absolutely our duty to try. During these challenging times, we must ensure all Americans are cared for, especially those who have given so much to keep us safe. To those who served and to those who continue to serve, my team and I are here for your families and for you. In Washington, I'll continue to champion better protections for service members and their loved ones. We must continue to, to fight to support legislation to improve critical mental health care services, to help homeless veterans get back on their feet, and to protect the financial security of veterans' families. Additionally, my offices are committed to helping service members throughout our district. Over the last year, 
We've participated in the National Veterans History Project, an initiative to record veteran stories and document their experiences in fighting for our nation so that future generations will be able to share those. It's also a great privilege to visit with veterans in our community at the Veterans Coalition of Broward County, the Broward Veterans Expo, as well as multiple roundtables with veterans throughout the year. It's an honor to speak with South Florida veterans and hear their stories, and I look forward to meeting in person with our veteran community again soon. In the meantime, if we can be of any assistance, always feel free to reach out to my offices anytime. Thank you again for everything that you've done for our country. And as we honor our service members this Memorial Day, let us reflect on their bravery and let's recommit ourselves to be a nation worthy of the great sacrifices they made. Oh. The flag folding ceremony represents the same religious principles on which our country was originally founded. The portion of the flag denoting honor is the canton of blue containing the stars, representing the states, our veterans, policemen, and firefighters who served in uniform. The canton field of blue is dressed from left to right draped as a pall on a casket. In the armed forces of the United States, at the ceremony of retreat, the flag is lowered, folded in a triangle fold, and kept under watch throughout the night as a tribute to the nation's honored dead. The next morning, it is brought out, and at the ceremony of Reveille, run aloft. on the island of Iwo Jima during World War II. Once there, they proudly raised the flag above the battlefield. Our flag is the symbol that we all hold dear. It represents freedom, democracy, and government of the people, by the people, and for the people. It is the duty of every citizen to defend the flag which stands for them all. The seventh fold is for where our hearts lie. It is with our hearts that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation. 
nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Eightfold is a tribute to those who have given their lives for freedom, and to honor Mother, for whom it flies on Mother's Day. The Ninthfold is a tribute to womanhood, for it, for it has been through their faith, love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of the men and women who have made this country great have been molded. The tenth fold is a tribute to Father, for he too has given his sons and daughters for the defense of our country. The eleventh fold represents what is good in all Americans. The twelfth fold represents freedom and democracy and justice. When the flag is completely folded, the stars are uppermost, reminding us of our national motto, In God We Trust. After the flag is completely folded and tucked in, it takes on the appearance of a cocked hat, ever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones, whose examples were followed by their comrades and shipmates in the armed forces of the United States, preserving our rights, privileges, and freedoms we enjoy today. with the greatest military power in the world. Look up and see me. I stand for peace, honor, truth, and justice. I stand for freedom. I am confident. banners. My head is a little higher. My colors a little truer. I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. I am worshipped. I am saluted. I am respected. I am revered. I shall overcome for 
for I am strong. I have split the bonds of earth and stand watch over the uncharted new frontiers of space from my vantage point on the moon. I have been a silent witness to all of America's finest hours, but my finest hour comes when I am torn into strips to be used for bandages for my wounded comrades on the field of battle. When I fly at half-mast to honor my soldiers, and when I lie in the trembling arms of a grieving mother at the graveside of her fallen son or daughter, I am proud. My name is Old Glory. Long may I wait. A proclamation. Whereas since our nation began, America's sons and daughters have given their lives for a cause greater than themselves, paying the ultimate price to defend the United States and the principles upon which it was founded. And whereas on Memorial Day, we honor the courageous and selfless patriots of our armed forces who laid down their lives to spread the blessings of liberty and lay the foundations of peace. And whereas designated as the last Monday in May by the United States Congress, Memorial Day is to be observed as a day of prayer for permanent peace. And whereas the city of Boca Raton wishes to honor the noble sacrifices made by so many who have gone before us and to pray for our troops, their families, and the peace we all seek. Now, therefore, I, Scott Singer, mayor of the city of Boca Raton, do hereby proclaim May 25th, 2020 as Memorial Day in Boca Raton and urge all residents to remember and pay tribute to the many brave servicemen and women who made the ultimate sacrifice in order to preserve the freedoms that we hold so dear.